Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, September 24th, 2024, and this is our Daily Bread. The title is Examining My Heart as a Leader. It's from 2 Samuel chapter 11, verses 14 to 27, and the key verse is 27. It says, After the time of mourning was over, David had her brought to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing David had done displeased the Lord. In the morning, David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it with Uriah. In it, he wrote, Put Uriah out in front where the fighting is fiercest, then withdraw from him so he will be struck down and die. So while Joab had the city under siege, he put Uriah at a place where he knew the strongest defenders were. When the men of the city came out and fought against Joab, some of the men in David's army fell. Moreover, Uriah the Hittite died. Joab sent David a full account of the battle. He instructed the messenger, When you have finished giving the king this account of the battle, the king's anger may flare up and he may ask you, Why did you get so close to the city to fight? Didn't you know they would shoot arrows from the wall? Who killed Abimelech, son of Yerubesheth? Didn't a woman drop an upper millstone on him from the wall? so that he died in Thebes? Why did you get so close to the wall? If he asks you this, then say to him, Moreover, your servant Uriah the Hittite is dead. The messenger set out, and when he arrived, he told David everything Joab had sent him to say. The messenger said to David, The men overpowered us and came out against us in the open, but we drove them back to the entrance of the city gate. Then the archers shot arrows at your servants from the wall, and some of the king's men died. Moreover, your servant Uriah the Hittite is dead. David told the messenger, Say this to Joab, Don't let this upset you. The sword devours one as well as another. Press the attack against the city and destroy it. Say this to encourage Joab. When Uriah's wife heard that her husband was dead, she mourned for him. After the time of mourning was over, David had her brought to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing David had done displeased the Lord. Daily Bread First, the consequences of unchecked power. David's misuse of his power as king in arranging Uriah's death shows how dangerous unchecked authority can be. Even a leader with good intentions can be tempted by selfishness, greed, or other wrong desires. You may find yourself in situations where you have influence over others. It's important to use that power wisely. Always think about how your decisions affect others' lives. Make sure there is honesty and accountability in all group activities to avoid misuse of power and ensure everyone is aligning themselves with God's word. Second integrity, and transparency. David's attempt to cover up his first mistake by committing more sins shows how quickly dishonesty can spiral out of control. This reminds us of the importance of staying honest, even when facing the consequences of our actions. When you make a mistake, it's better to admit it rather than hide it or make things worse with lies. Being honest and transparent helps build trust and respect with others and keeps your actions in line with biblical values. Let's pray. Lord, remind me that my actions are always in your sight. Help me to act with integrity and to use any authority I hold responsibly. Show me what displeases you in my life and guide me to make it right. In Jesus' name, amen. One word. Act with integrity and honesty.